was one of those gloomy nights. I was sitting in my room under the light of my study lamp. I had a knife in my hand, a very sharp one, and I was rotating it in my hands. I was broken inside and out. I was shattered. I was done putting myself up together again and again. I would put the knife on my wrist but then pull it away. Thinking what would people say? What would my mom think? That his son gave up just like that? What would my friends think of me? Isn't it terribly amazing that I was at the verge of taking his own life? was about to kill his own self and he was done with pretty much everything I was still thinking that how this action of mine would affect my family my fellows and my peers but people who were nagging me who were bullying me who were breaking me apart never ever ever thought about how this action of theirs would make me feel This is the sad dilemma of the society. You push people to the point where the only solution is to take their own lives. And then you mock them, criticize them, and put labels on them. You always condemn people who commit suicide by saying that he shouldn't have lost hope. He shouldn't have gave in. Life is a blessing so he committed a sin. You share verses condemning suicide. and quotes highlighting the value of hope and stuff but ironically you don't condemn the people who push someone to death as a society you all say and believe that taking your own life is a sin but do you feel the same way about bullying someone judging them putting labels on them stripping them of their basic human right that of dignity Do you? If not, then now is the time. Because it wasn't the knife or the blade or the rat pill or hanging from the ceiling that took someone's life. Rather, rather it was your words, your actions, and your judgments that forced them to do so. In the morning when they came in, my blood was all over the place. I was lying in the corner of the room long gone 